We were very glad to see a cocky little character like this come along. This modest, unassuming young fellow joined our family quite a few years back. And the way he has been accepted all over the world makes us proud to tell his story. I think Donald is hilarious. He's so funny and he's so relatable. He's fiery, he's tempestuous, he can blow off and has a hair trigger, but he's also incredibly lovable. He's a fun-loving guy. He likes to have fun. He can be a rascal sometimes. He likes to play practical jokes. But when something gets in his way, that's when he loses his temper. Donald's is just one of our classic characters. He's been beloved for so many years and, and still is around the world. There's something about the duck. There's something about that wacky character that our guests really love. He has the most confidence. Even if that's to a fault, that's something we can all you know, look towards to find that confidence within ourselves. He's allowed to express himself in a way that we all would like to be able to express ourselves. Walt always wanted to make sure that these characters were not just funny cartoons running around, but that they were individual, unique personalities. And I hit a I'll run with coming up with Donald's character. Donald Duck first appeared in a cartoon short called The Wise Little Hen in 1934. Donald wasn't intended to be anything more than a bit player, but he was so funny and everybody loved him so much that they almost immediately started putting him into cartoons with Mickey and his other friends. Clarence Nash was the original voice of Donald Duck for 50 years, chosen by Walt. And I became his apprentice around 1981, 82. It's a trick I do in my mouth. It's really a magic trick. If I told you, I'd have to tell you. It took about three years to learn that, and uh, I've been doing it for the last 40 years. Donald's beginning was rather unusual. He had a quite a bit of a different look, a different physical appearance. He had a very long bill, very long and pointed. He was a little bit bow-legged. His feet were a little different. They weren't quite as webbed like a duck as we, we see him now, but he had the same costume with the little sailor suit. The cute little blue sailor's outfit. Sometimes he'll swap out his bow tie from red to black if he's feeling fancy. But most importantly, he has his little Fauntleroy hat with the ribbon on top. So the audiences identify with Donald as kind of the everyman. And I think that's what made Donald kind of rise above in popularity, even ahead of Mickey Mouse towards the end of his career and fell. I sort of fell in love with Donald Duck when I think I was in college and saw the Three Caballeros for the first time. It was such an amazingly imaginative film and such a great use of Donald Duck as in every person. Someone who was interested in the world, someone who was excited, someone who was happy, someone who was angry, someone who was jealous, someone who was in love. The impact that Donald had on Disney was really to bring a new set of characteristics. He really broadened the spectrum of characters within Disney. He's able to, you know, kind of let it all hang out. He wears his emotions on his sleeve, which, from an animator's point of view, makes him very fun to work off. The most important part of Donald is not necessarily where he's having the tantrum or going crazy, but it's also those subtle moments when he's thinking. Donald Duck was the first of the ducks here at, at Disney, but there's some other famous ducks that are related to him. So Donald, of course, had his sweetheart, Daisy, and his nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Shortly after Donald appeared, he started making a name for himself in publications. And it was in the comic book world that Donald kind of exploded. He got his own town, which is Duckburg, and all of his family and friends appear in those comic books. And so there's hundreds and hundreds of Donald Duck-based characters. Donald Duck really gets around, and you can find him in many places at our parks and resorts around the world. At Shanghai Disneyland, the Disney cruise ships, the Aqueduct, in Mickey's Toontown at Disneyland, in Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and of course, as the star of Mickey's Silver Magic. Donald can really connect with a wide range of uh, generations because of his energy and because of the story we're creating. We are storytellers, and each time we work on the product, Everything starts with an idea. Story is key before we bring Donald Duck to life. That way, every product is unique and really connect with people. Donald Duck has inspired other 
characters to, to have some really fun stories. At Disney, everything is about storytelling. And Donald can be put in any situation at all. And I think that has inspired a number of great stories for the Walt Disney Company. I think Donald has been influential over the past 90 years because he's multi-generational. He's been there for everyone. He's just one of those timeless characters that will endure as time goes on. Donald's the pride and joy of our studio. A versatile character who can play any role assigned to him. 